Hello, I'm Shan Li. Let me show you how to draw the column chart. In this plugin called Figma NB Charts. Let's take a look. There are already some basic parameters here. Then I will draw one first to show you the result. We need to create a new frame. The range of this box is the size of the chart. After it is generated, click the drawing button. The basic column chart is finished quickly. Next, take a look at the parameters here. The basic information in this tutorial, as well as the vertical and horizontal lines, have been explained in great detail in the line chart tutorial. If anyone needs it, you can check out the first half of the line chart tutorial. I will focus on demonstrating the data settings for you. Here you can set the data range. Currently, their data range is 0 minus 100. This is easier to understand. Let's take a look here. There is data 1 below the data. Although there are currently 3 columns, they all belong to data 1. I will show you how to add multiple sets of data later. Now, let's look at where we can set the width of the column. I'll increase the width and see the result. Okay, I'll restore it. What does this mean? Currently, we draw right angled columns by default. If you need to draw rounded corners, click here. Please note that the value of the arc cannot exceed half the width of the column. Click the drawing button. The ends of the column are now rounded. But generally, we want the bottom of the column to be right angled. Then click this icon to set the arc of each corner of the column separately. OK, now the column has rounded corners at the top and right angles at the bottom. This is the text on the pillar. Turn off this switch to hide it. You can also change the size and color of the text here. Next, you can fill in the data value and set its color individually in the corresponding place of each column. If you need to add data, that is, add a column, click the plus sign on the right side of data 1. Please note that it is not the plus sign next to the data above, but the plus sign to the right of data 1. Click the plus sign, and a new data value will be added below, called data 1 minus 4. You can continue to add. Let's take a look at the drawing results first. There are five columns now, but you will find that the text content below cannot match the column one by one. To modify the text content at the bottom, you need to go back to the basic information. Let me set the text to year. Click the drawing button. Now they correspond. One thing to note is that when filling in the text at the bottom, the fields need to be separated by commas. Although there are currently many columns, they all belong to a set of data. But in many cases, we need to draw multiple sets of data for comparison. How to add it? Click the plus sign to the right of the data. To add a set of data, then data 2 will appear. And the number of columns in data 2 is consistent with the default root data. 1. Look what has changed here. After adding multiple sets of data, you can set the spacing between columns and choose the form of a stacked column chart. Look at this diagram. I'll demonstrate later. I continue to add data 3. Each set of data can set the parameters of the column independently. In order to be more intuitive, I unify the colors of the columns of the same group of data. You can copy it to the color value like this. But there is a quicker way. Click the button to the right of the color block to apply to all. In this way, the colors of the columns in data 1 will be unified. I will continue to use this method to set the column colors of data 2 and data 3. Then I need to select this frame and draw it. Let's take a look at this chart. The leftmost blue column among these three groups is the first group of data. Yellow is data 2. Orange is the data 3. Then, here you can set the spacing between columns. I widen the spacing a bit. 
and changed it to 10. The columns are further apart. We also provide a stacked column chart format. Turn on the stack switch. It becomes a stacked column chart. Because the columns are stacked, the data range automatically changes. Okay, this part of the tutorial is over. Thanks.